America! Woo! That was quite the experience. It was worth it. Hey there friends, happy 4th of July. We are at Target right now, and I'm trying to find some American flags. This kid's here. I'm trying to find like six American flags to basically use as like a backdrop for this photo idea. And also, I'm trying to find like little American flag bandanas. I wanna get my dogs in the photo, and it'll be cute because it'll be like wearing the little flag bandanas. So uh, we just gotta find uh, where the 4th of July section is. So, I don't know, I think we're lost already. Should we just get an emoji pinata? <laughs> I have no idea where the stuff is. I'll let you guys know if we find anything. Just found them. Six big three feet by five feet American flags. Oh, look at this. There we are. And again, they're just gonna be used as a backdrop for this photo idea, so now we gotta find little bandanas for the dogs. Oh, he just ripped my shirt. Apparently we already have American flag bandana. Someone's vlogging us oh, vlogging. Hi guys. Babe, let's take a monitor selfie. Hello. All right, we're leaving Target now. We got what we needed. We just spent way too much money on flags. Okay, it's gonna be worth it. All right, well, we're gonna go eat some food. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay friends, we just got this whole room set up and it's pretty 4th of July themed. Um, as you can see what I did with the flag, I just lined them on the wall and then I took some string lights and basically tied them to the end of each nail that was holding the flag in place. Look at these bandanas on the pups. Hi Penny. <gasps> you like your new bandana? Hi buddy. Hi. Woof. So at this point we're just going to uh, basically shoot with Allie and the dogs on the bed and I'm really just trying to get this frame right here where the flags are in the background, the dogs are just hanging on the bed. Let me show you guys what I'm going to be using for this shot as far as like props. Canon 5D Mark IV, Canon 35 14 lens. I got a bunch of sparklers here and just a few other things. I might actually take some of this dye and put some milk in this jar here and then have like maybe like the pink or the blue dye I think that might look cool one thing I did want to mention I'm mostly working with natural lighting so I'm just using the light from like this big glass door right here uh, it's all indirect light that's just coming in here so I think that'll help create um, a little bit more softer light let's do it <laughs> Okay guys, it's, this, shoot, this shoot is going really well so far. I'm having Allie hold some sparklers. We even have a fire extinguisher on hand just in case. So at this point, uh, what I'm going to do is have Allie holding a sparkler, and then as I'm taking the photo, I'm gonna take these stars and throw them like into the frame. So it looks like it's raining stars and then the sparkler's going off and it's gonna be this whirlwind of epic. One of my camera settings is set to what's called high speed continuous. So I can just lock the focus on like Allie's hand and then it'll just rapid fire a ton of shots. So that's really helpful when trying to capture uh, movement. You get a ton of different options from all the shots that you're getting. So we're gonna go and do that. It should be fun. So now what I'm gonna do is take this really festive jar and I'm gonna put some milk in it and then I have some uh, colored dye. I'm gonna make it look like it's like this weird kind of juice. It's like 4th of July juice. So I'll be right back. All right, we got our magic juice here. It looks pretty festive. I like it. I think it might be a cool little prop in the photos. Cheers, guys. So we just finished shooting. I got a ton of different photos. I just tried a bunch of different ideas. So I'm excited to edit those. At this point, I'm gonna do some filming, get some footage for the cinematic cut, and we'll go from there. All right, friends, we just got done with the cinematic stuff. Overall, it was a good shoot, it was fun. Now it's time to edit the photos. In the meantime, I want you guys to watch this cinematic cut of <laughs> everything we just did.
friends, I'm putting the photos on my computer right now and we're gonna get into Lightroom and start editing these. finished editing the photos in Lightroom. I used quite a few different brush masks on the photos like in the flag area as well as like the bed with the lights behind Allie, even some on Allie. A lot of those brush masks were used to help change the color of those specific areas. I made like the bluish lights on the bed a little bit more aqua and I made like the flag area behind her a little bit more warm. So I exported a few different images from when I was throwing the star confetti and I'm pretty happy with one shot but I like how some of the stars are falling in other shots so I'm gonna try and pull some of those stars from those other shots into the main shot that I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that in Photoshop really quick and then I'll explain to you how I did that. This is the final image. If I click this little eye icon here, you can see what I've added to the photo. What's helpful is that I had my camera setting, if you guys remember, to high speed continuous. So I was able to pull from these other outtakes uh, different stars I want. So let me show you exactly what I did here. I created the new layer, this layer here. I pulled most of the stars from this image here and I just went to the clone stamp tool right here. If you hit alt and then select the different stars that you want to add to the image, you can just go right in and I painted them right in here. What's nice about this is like if, if I were to be using this image, to me this looks a little bit messy. So I was able to pick and choose which stars I wanted and add them in accordingly so that it looks more appealing. And that's really it. I just took a few different stars, painted them in here. Being that these are all under a new layer, I can then go in and clean up the edges on some of these stars here. You can see the colors are just slightly different here. Just clean up the edges here a little bit. Keep in mind though, to really get this to work in Lightroom, I've copied and pasted the edit from this final image to all these different outtakes and then when I went into clone stamp the stars I wanted into the final image it was really easy and pretty seamless to add them in. Again create your new layer, clone stamp in the stars you want from additional outtakes and then flatten the image using command E and you're done. So there you have it. I'm really, really happy with the way this shoot came out. A big thing with this episode is just simply um, not being afraid to experiment with stuff. You know, I did have this basic idea of having like flags in the background and all that. During the actual photo shoot, I was trying a lot of different stuff with sparklers, throwing star confetti. I think that's one of the biggest things I want you guys to learn across the board from actually being at a photo shoot to editing your photos. A big part of just what I do is just trying stuff, experimenting, because a lot of times you don't know until you actually try it. A lot of people want an exact science to even how I edit my photos, and I can honestly tell you there's really not an exact science to it, because a big part of it is me just experimenting and trying a lot of stuff. I've done it consistently in a long enough time now to where you know I, I know what I want and I know what I'm going for, but at the end of the day, I'm still just I mean, that's, that's the essence of creativity, is trying things you've never done before. So I definitely want to leave you guys with that. Be encouraged. Don't be afraid to try stuff. And also, I really, really appreciate your support. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos here on YouTube, as well as supporting me on Instagram. I hope you had a happy 4th of July. So until next time, I'll see you guys later, all right? Love you guys. Peace. Penny, say bye.